Right, let's see where we left off. Um, okay, 211. Right, what are we doing here? All the inflection points and intervals are concave up or concave down. Okay. Inflection, concave up, concave down. Right, let's let's have a look here. Right. Right. Um, so in 212, inflection, so the inflection is when the second derivative is zero. Now, hmm, hmm. Probably here. Um, or it's actually a saddle point. And um, the second derivative, it is negative, positive. Negative makes it a max. So when x is less than zero, that is concave down. And then here, positive minimum shape, um, the other one, concave up. Hopefully I have that right. 213. Um, Inflection at x equals zero. Um, positive min convex concave up. And then concave down. Um, 214 at x equal minus 0 0.5 and 1 um no 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 inflection is here at 0 and 1 Zero and one positive. So okay. So positive makes it a minimum concave up. from minus infinity to zero and one to infinity and then down uh, zero to one okay and then two one five inflection at x equal Minus one zero one concave up and then concave down down um so positive positive means minimum, which is this one. So minus infinity to minus one, 
minus one to zero and one to infinity and zero to one. All right, let's check the answers. Two thirteen, concave up on all x. No inflection points. Mm. Concave up for x less than zero. Concave up. Concave up or x less than zero and x more than one and then concave down between zero and one inflections at zero and one oh 215 oh funny i'm looking at the wrong one but 2 concave up less than zero and more than one yeah i'm just not sure about including the minus one um yeah we have to examine what's happening more closely i think in these questions let's have a look Two twelve. Two twelve. So here the derivative is positive and positive. So the graph is increasing. So it's a saddle. So it's it's gonna be going like this. And then here we have negative which corresponds to the max shape. I, so I think this is right. 213 is where I'm wrong. Inflection at zero. Oh, but the first derivative is zero as well. I forgot I have to go back and check on that. Yeah, that's my bad. Because the, the first and second derivative are both zero. So Um, first derivative is zero, second derivative is zero. We might have to look at the third derivative. Let's try and, and um, make the graph here. First derivative. Is kind of like an x cubed shape so that means we're kind of like an x4 shape for the original function which means we kind of have an x squared shape for the second derivative and an x shape for the first derivative so yeah i get it now no inflection and it's concave up Okay, I'll check that answer in a moment. 214, 214, let's double check it. So inflection point at zero and one, I'm kind of happy with that still. Ah, but we have to check one because it might not be as well, okay. Okay, so definitely an inflection at zero and 
concave positive down um, minus infinity to zero. And um, here as well, I think one to infinity. And but what about here? Is this an inflection point? So the shape here is roughly at x squared. So it'd kind of be an x cubed. So it'd be a, a saddle, but still an inflection point. It'd be a saddle, I think. Um so in between, yeah, I, I, I'm still kind of happy with that. Concave up then. Negative max. Oh, I have these backwards. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then 215. We'll have to check what's happening here. Minus one. Yeah, okay. It's a minimum actually at minus one, not at an inflection point. Uh, and here, the saddle point. Yeah. So the minus one gets included then. Okay. So I think we're okay now. This is a little bit harder than I thought, actually. A little bit harder than I thought. But I think we got through it. All right, let's check the answers now again. Two thirteen concave up known flexion points. Yep. Okay, two fifteen concave up for less than zero and more than one. Okay. Inflection points at zero and one. And concave down between zero and one. So I think we're okay now. I hope. You just got to be really careful when the first and second derivative are both zero. That's kind of the, the main point here. I think that's good. I think that's good. And I'll probably leave it there for today. Um, and then next time, draw a graph that satisfies. Okay. Okay, so sketch in time. And then, yeah. Okay, okay. Let, let's leave it there for today.